Well, ladies and gentlemen, the opening contest is scheduled for one fall with a 15-minute time limit. And introducing first... From Boston, man, weighing 220 pounds, Brian P. Momentarily by Jason Boyd. You're getting set up here for this. Andy Anderson, music here. They're coming to the ring. See what they got to say. It's ridiculous. Andy Anderson being accompanied by the NWA Georgia heavyweight champion Tyson Dean are standing at ringside. Hold tight, boys. Oh, man, I've warned you about that microphone from one end of the state to the other. If you'd like it wedged somewhere that it will not work, hit that button again. I'll be damned if you didn't bring a brother. Rick Michaels, since you want to play commissioner, get out here. We need to solve the travesties that happened to this man at the last show. I got the microphone, I'm running. Grandpa! Hold tight, boy, I got things to do. You need to keep your mind, your eye on this guy. Yes. What you did last time was uncalled for. This man was injured. That's not fair to put me unprepared in a ring with Simon Sermon, right here, right now, tonight, Andy Anderson gets his rematch. Andy, you want a rematch? Well, see, here's the deal. You're going to have to earn it because you, you're right, you didn't lose the title, you did. So I'm not giving you a rematch because you're already defending your title against Johnny Swinger and Simon Sermon, the new champion is defending his title against Shane Marks. If you want a title shot, you want a rematch, you're going to have to earn it. He got screwed, Rick. He doesn't have to earn it. Give him his rematch now. Okay. You know what? 
you're going to earn it. You got two guys right here. So, Andy, if you're so good, then you know what? Hey, calm down, brother. I'm sure your mom loves you. You know what, Andy? Beat these two guys. If you beat... If, what? How's you got to beat two guys? two guys? I'm not even dressed to wrestle. Exactly. You want a shot? Guess what? Your match is now. See ya. Wow. Rick Michaels, the commissioner, has come out, and he has said Andy Anderson is going to take on Jagged Edge and Brian Kane here in a triple threat match. Andy's got to take on these guys. We're going to see what happens here. Wow, interesting development out of that. I don't know what's happening here. Tyson Dean's heading to the back. Referee Tristan Michaels, as I'm joined now here at ringside by Jason Boyd. Well, this crowd is rockets tonight, man. I tell you what, you aren't kidding, man. I tell you, this is uh, this is certainly crazy. I don't know why Tristan Michaels is checking Andy Anderson here. It's like he's getting ready to call for the match. Calling for the bell. Andy's outside of the ring. Andy's bailing already. I, I don't understand. Not Andy sure what he's doing. This might be. Hey, you know what? Honestly, these two guys are ready to go at each other. He might. It's kind of a little bit of a brain thing to do for Andy Anderson. Let these two guys fight it out and come in and pick bones when he's done. Very interesting here from Andy Anderson. Andy here at ringside. Let's go call this Brian Kane here. Reversal there. Jagged Edge with a headlock takedown. Tristan Michaels there checking on the count. Checking Brian Kane's shoulder to see if they're down. Kane with a leg lock. Around the chin of Jagged Edge. Edge close enough to the ropes there. Jagged gets out of that here. Right into a headlock there on the mat. Got that side headlock well in. Back up to a vertical base here, Vance. Andy Anderson still pacing outside the ring here. Edge, the taller of the two gentlemen. But I think it's about even even there with uh, the weight. Yeah, uh, it's pretty even. And Andy Anderson, of course, about 250 pounds. He'll be the size of Jagged Edge. And, you know, Andy Anderson, he's, he's done it all in uh, NWA Atlanta. He's take down there. A kick right to the right to the shoulder blades there, Jagged Edge. Andy Anderson into the ring, pulling Edge out. Shot right to the forehead there. And just Andy with some uh, forearms to the back of the shoulders there, sending Jagged Edge in. Brian Kane, a little nonchalant there, taking some time off. Yeah, he did. On the top ropes there as Edge comes back in here. We're seeing uh, Brian Kane and Andy Anderson work together a little bit here. This is crazy. Andy Anderson, very brash, the former NWA Atlanta heavyweight champion. Four times he's held that crown. He's a former NWA Georgia heavyweight champion and a former NWA tag team champion. He definitely has all the credentials. And these two young men are just pounding on each other as Andy Anderson looks on. That's true. Andy Anderson back into the ring now, going after Ed, Jagged Edge. Shot right to the shoulders once again there. Andy dispatching Jagged Edge here. Let's see if he's going after Kane. Brian Kane takes a shoulder uh, shot right to the shoulder blades as well. Anderson with a scoop slam there and sends Kane down to the mat. As he gets ready to pin him, Jagged Edge back in here. A couple of rights to Andy Anderson's head. Anderson down and back outside the ring. He's over here in front of us. And Jagged Edge and Andy Anderson look about the same size from my point of view. They're close to it. Jagged Edge is a, is a big human being. Sending Kane into the near corner here. Edge oh. going in. Oh, my gosh. Right in. His head went right off the ring post there. He may be busted open. Andy Anderson acting like a lumberjack here at ringside almost. <laughs> Just taking his time. Oh, there will be another Pearl Harbor job here in a minute. Oh, he yeah, he's wait. loading up there. I'm surprised the NWA Georgia champion Tyson Neen hadn't gotten involved here. Kane setting up with a huge vertical suplex there. And Kane's going to have to try and take cover. Well, he's going up. Back up there, he's dragging Jagged Edge into a spot here in the corner. Anderson stalking once again. Kane going for a moonsault there, but it looked like he hurt his knee as he landed. 
Yeah, he must have yeah, left you know. set him up here. Got a book in here right in the corner there. Andy Anderson into the ring now. Breaks up the pinfall attempt. He just punches Jagged Edge right there on top of the head. Anderson sets up. Now he's stalking Brian Kane. Well, what's Anderson going to go for here? Uh, Anderson setting him up here. Oh, my gosh. This might be it here. Andy Anderson setting him up for the F5. Oh, wow. Brian Kane is out here. Jagged Edge just outside the ring ropes here. Tyson Dean grabbing his leg. That's a three count there, and that's over. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match, Andy Anderson. Anderson in the ring to pick the bones. Brian Kane takes an F5 from Andy Anderson, and Andy Anderson victorious here in this matchup tonight, this three-on-one. Picking the bones here despite what Commissioner Rick Michaels had set up and what expected here tonight. Andy Anderson victorious in this three-way match here. Referee Tristan Michaels counted the one, two, three. Andy Anderson victorious here over Brian Kane and Jagged Edge. Wrestling fans, our next contest scheduled for one fall with a 15-minute time limit. And now introducing the participants. Accompanied to the ring by Encore Set. Obviously. Ladies and gentlemen, Marvelous Michael Stevens. Bold and beautiful. Obviously. Plain to see. Finish up here our introductions Jason Boyd did here on our second matchup of the night. Marvelous Michael Stevens taking on Drew Adler here. Referee Brooklyn Page in charge of this matchup here. These two guys know each other very, very well. Absolutely. A lot of credentials in this in the ring tonight, Vance. Drew Adler, of course, a former NWA Atlanta heavyweight champion, and marvelous Michael Stevens along with Encore Zach Edwards, held three tag team championships at the same time in Georgia. 
Absolutely. They had a great 2014 as uh, as they did here. Marvelous Michael Stevens losing his tag team partner. You remember him them as the BFFs. Anthony Andrews uh, took off uh, to uh, Texas and uh, picked right up where they left off with Zach Edwards here and contained uh, maintained their dominance in the tag team division here in Georgia. For one year, one whole year. One whole year they were NWA Atlanta tag champions. Amazing run here. Great feud with the with the um, Bill the Butcher and Payne. Blunt force trauma ending at our October Havoc show in a casket match. That match was something to see. If you hadn't seen it, fans, uh, check us out on YouTube at NWA Atlanta. The, uh, October Havoc, the casket match. Oh, it was violent. Big suplex there from Marvelous Michael Stevens. Adler's right back up. Boot to the midsection there. Adler going to turn the tables here. Oh, high delayed vertical suplex. With Blood a, rushing to his head there. Yep, snap suplex there. Brooklyn Page here. It's hard to keep up with the action sometimes here. But she got there to check and make sure that the cover there. But Michael Stevens kicked out after one. Drew Adler working over Michael Stevens back here with those knees now going to the shoulder area. Off the ropes, back to the shoulder. You see Drew Adler constantly working that upper back, that shoulder and neck area there. His finisher, that boot to the face, is deadly. We've yes. seen him defeat Matt Matt uh, Matt Sexels for the NWA Atlanta title months ago. What a feud that was! Huh? Oh man, they had some tremendous matches, including one right here in this right here in this very arena in Locust Grove, Georgia, that was just off the chain. That ladder match, whoo! Absolutely. Drew Adler up. over the top. Oh, yeah. Head scissors here. Let's see what Adler can do. Sending Michael Stevens into the corner. That was like a little whirly bird. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Michael oh, Stevens. look at that. Look at that. Just despicable. Adler out to the floor. Stevens grabbing the tights and sending him out. Oh, my gosh. You can hear Adler. that. Oh, yeah. No kidding, folks. Very close to the fans. Here we are. Swing Adler shot. going over. Oh, man, Adler hit his left leg there, left knee on the canvas real hard there as he went for that uh, that dive over the ropes. And Michael Stevens able to come in here. He's in the corner, near corner to us here, choking choking uh, Drew Adler here right now. Referee Brooklyn Page right on top of it, though. Um, she seems to get a lot of the besties matches here lately, so she's had enough of their nonsense here. I would definitely. I mean, these two... They they constantly interfere in each other's matches. It gets it gets very annoying, especially you know these fans here are <laughs> they let them have it. Hate's a strong word, but the fans really hate the beautiful ball besties. That is a strong word. But when they hear know. when they hear the tones, their music. Oh, Zach Edwards in the corner now. Zach Edwards pulling at the ear of Drew Adler. Is Michael Stevens yelling at Brooklyn Page here, the referee? I hate to say it, but that's that's good strategy. It's it's really good strategy. Get the referee over here. Zach Edwards can do his damage, and marvelous Michael Stevens could get back on the attack. They certainly do no tag team wrestling, and even in a singles match, they're a tag team. Yeah. You cannot have a match with one of the beautiful ball besties without thinking about the other one being in the in the corner, being on the outside of the ring. And these two know what they're doing when it comes to in-ring and the out-ring distract- distractions that they do have. There's a shot there. Adler trying to fight back, but here he comes. Off the road. Adler there still having issues with the ear after Michael Stevens, on the, oh, sorry, after Zach Edwards on the outside of the ring did something to him while he was there in that corner during the distraction time. Ground him right now. Wear down. Hold. Hey, was he biting? I don't know. I couldn't tell from our angle here. Looked like he bit him. And he'll pull out all the stops. A lot like the NWA Georgia heavyweight champion Tyson Dean, who we will yep. see later. We're going to see Dean in action later here this evening. He's going to be taking on Johnny Swinger. Five minutes down. Five minutes down. Ten minutes remaining in the match. Drew Adler there. This is a smart move for Michael Stevens, keeping Adler, the taller man, down on the canvas. If he's able to do that, we're going to see uh, 
Let's see something there. Adler with a face buster, chin buster there, breaking the hold now. Adler still a little bit woozy, trying to get his oxygen back. Sending him in Michael Stevens with a reversal. Back elbow there. Sends Adler crashing to the canvas. Right back on the offensive there on that ear. Man, look, and it's, it, it's easy to pull an ear off, I've heard. A lot of rumors of what is it? Five pounds of pressure? Eight, eight pounds, something like that. I'm not really sure. I have to Google it later. <laughs> we have some good wrestling in Locust Grove, but not a lot of 3G. That's, that's to, true. Look that one up at my phone here when I get to the house. <laughs> Drew Adler on the second rope here. He's choking him. But he does have a five count to break. And they know that better than anybody else. Yeah. Well, the ears again. The besties tonight working the uh, cheetah print, the leopard print there. Brute awakening type neck breaker. <laughs> Only the two count. Uh, stomp right to the chest there. All the headlocks and the pulling they've done on his ear. Drew Adler's having some trouble breathing. A couple of stomps to the chest is not going to help that one bit. Second turnbuckle on the inside. Oh, boot to the, oh, no. caught. Oh, missing the elbow there. Adler had enough energy to put that boot up, but got out of the way. Left hand oh, to the that chin. Shot. Michael oh, shoves him line. off. Big clothesline and back elbow follow up from Adler. Adler's still struggling to maintain a vertical standing here. Face buster on the knee. Adler's got Michael Stevens in the corner here. Adler getting there, but a boot right to the face as Adler comes in. Adler going for a quick power slam there. Michael Stevens with a roll up. There it is. Adler hits that slam. Let's see if he gets it. Near fall. Ah, oh, two and a half there. Brooklyn Page down for the count. Two count there. Michael Stevens is reeling now. Let's see if Adler can can. Maintain his momentum here as he goes into the corner for the boot. Another roll up there. Adler through. through. Going for the super kick. Adler stops that, setting him up. Got rich power bomb. Could this be it? No. Oh. Wow. What a matchup this has been so far, Vince. Oh, man. Two count there. Zach Adler. Edwards encouraging his man in the corner there. Oh, Big boot to the face in the corner. Zach Edwards setting him up here. We're going to see this. Shut him back. Dropping him down for the white noise. Uh, Brooklyn Page down on the high. Anaconda Vice. Yes, Anaconda Vice is locked in. Zach Edwards is there at ringside. Puts Michael Stevens' foot up on the bottom rope. Oh, my gosh. I tell you what. That was a save there. Absolutely ridiculous. Zach Edwards there. Drew Adler had that anaconda device locked in. Michael Stevens was moments away from tapping out here. And Zach Edwards put his foot on the bottom rope as Adler goes out. Zach Edwards with a punch right to the face here. Clothesline. Tip misses. It's a gurry right to the side of the head. Oh, my gosh. Another two count there. So close. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. i tell you what. Drew Adler's going up to the ropes here. Let's see. Adler is going up to the second turnbuckle. Michael Stevens up with a shot. Oh, his knee. Oh. Michael Stevens with a super kick to the back of the leg. And another super kick as Adler is on his knees. Could this be all? Oh, my gosh. It. That is it. Here is your winner, marvelous Michael Stevens. Michael Stevens, a winner here as they both hightail it to the back. And Michael Stevens with a super kick. Oh, here they are. They're back out here. The fans obviously booing the underhanded tactics that led to this win. But Michael Stevens, without a doubt here, a super kick to the knee of Drew Adler. And then a super kick right to the side of the head was all Zach Edwards needed. I'm sorry, Michael Stevens needed for the one, two, three here. Michael Stevens victorious for the beautiful ball besties tonight here over Drew Adler.
Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit and is for the NWA Georgia Junior Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first... And his opponent to hear the NWA Atlanta junior heavyweight champion here has uh, stepped up against Cameron Cade here tonight. This should be a tremendous matchup. We've seen Cameron Cade in action and of course we know Fried Hattie very well. This young man will not quit and is a very decorated champion. He's a former two-time NWA Atlanta heavyweight champion. But I tell you what, Cameron Cade is no slouch either. This kid was the Carolina Cruiserweight of the Year last year, and he won Southern Fried Championship Wrestling's first Cruiserweight Cup. So, well devout in the junior heavyweight division, if you will. Absolutely, and you know he was part of our tournament to crown the first ever NWA Junior NWA Atlanta Junior Heavyweight Champion. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing this matchup here. He lost out, I believe, in the semifinals of the of the tournament here. And uh, standing side headlock there, Friday. He's got a look. Like he's got a waist lock on him as well here right now. And uh, see what happens with these two uh, super speedy fellas here. Both men about the same size. Oh yeah. This should be a good one. Well, I've been excited for this one. How about you, Van? Oh yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to this for. Couple weeks now since we heard that this matchup was signed. Nice okay, now with a reversal here. Taking Friday down here, got a headlock on the mat now. Brooklyn Page down. Going in Friday with a reversal there, gets him to break the hold. Sizing each other up. Side headlock takedown again. Here okay, we go. Down. Head scissors there, Friday back up. Sends K down to the matchup, settles into his own side headlock. Okay. 
Cameron Cade being grounded on the mat here. Fry Daddy trying to work him. And Cameron Cade was pulling for some hair. <laughs> I don't know. He's just Fry Daddy's sporting a new goatee now. Yeah. As, uh, like he's worked on that over the Christmas break. Well, there's no hair on top. I mean, oh, sure. He, he might have grabbed for the uh, might have grabbed for the goatee. Who knows? <laughs> Big power body slam. Oh, huge slam there. And Cade was uh, that pushing was him down to the canvas with his boot. Fry Daddy rolls out of the way. Fry Daddy measuring him here. Another side standing headlock. We're going to try and cut off some of that oxygen. Fry Daddy gets Cameron Cade grounded once again. He just slung him to the mat that time. Absolutely. A little bit of anger there. Fry Daddy full of some pride. That is for sure. He is a proud junior heavyweight champion here in NWA Atlanta, and he's probably not happy about that boot to the chest. And Cameron Cade hit on him just before he went for that last maneuver there. You know, this young Cameron Cade is very arrogant, and uh, I think he made Friday a little bad with that little kick he nonchalantly oh. did a while ago. Absolutely. Friday with a whip into the corner there. Shoulder blocks in. Friday down to the canvas. Friday, he said something to Cade there, but I'm not sure what it was. Over the top, Friday, he going, oh! Now the side headlock takedown there. The fans are happy of that. Wow, off the ropes, too. Man. Friday, trying to ground him here, and Cameron Cade yelling, he pulled my hair. I didn't see it, did you? No, I couldn't, I couldn't tell. And, and Friday, he don't really take shortcuts. I haven't really seen him take many shortcuts. No, that's true. You're right. He's uh, as uh, as good as it gets. One of the fan favorites here in NW Atlanta, that is for sure. And the fans are always looking forward to his entrance. And um, they always like for him to come out and take pictures with him after the shows, even sometimes during the intermission there. Always one of the top guys when we have our birthday parties here that the, uh, the fans want to have at the birthday parties. Cade with a go over there. Friday, right back down, settling in on a headlock. And Cade's in some serious pain here now. Yeah, you see them stomping them feet. You know they're in pain. Oh, absolutely. Trying to get out of that as much as they can. Trying to break out of that hole. And Friday, you're wrenching it in. You can see him getting elevated there as he works over the head and neck of Cameron Cade. This go. is a good strategy here, slowing Cade down as well. Friday can go with the best of them as far as quickness goes. But if you're able to slow down somebody like that, it's going to make the match that much easier for a Fry Daddy. And, of course, uh, at our last show, Fry Daddy and Jimmy Rave had an amazing match that ended in a double, well, the time limit expired, if yes. you will. Yes, time limit expired during that match up here. Jimmy Rave was a challenger to Fry Daddy's NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion. And uh, beautiful, I think it was a 25-minute match, I believe. Yes. Uh, is what it ended up being after extended time. Huge neck breaker there off the second rope. And Cade now, let's see if he can take advantage of this now. What a move that was. Cade taking his own time there, a little arrogance there, raising his right hand. The fans giving it to him here as their favorite Friday now is laying prone here in the corner. Oh, look at that. What a that, jerk move there. That little nonchalant kick again. Snap, Snap suplex. release suplex there since Fry Daddy into the ropes. Five minutes down, five minutes down, 15 minutes remaining in the back. That's something I haven't seen in quite a while, a release suplex like that. Kay let him go, and Fry Daddy flew halfway across the ring into the ropes. Oh, another chop to the chest there, a second one from Cameron Cade. Another shot there. Uh oh, Fry Daddy's woken up now. Stalking Cade. Oh, wow. Huge chops there now. Friday Daddy getting it back. Friday said, you want a chop? Let's have a chop fest. Yep. Oh. oh. Fisherman suplex there. Oh, oh, one count. Friday Daddy kicks out after one. And Friday. Daddy. That might just be from wrenching in pain. I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> that Friday was... had a little bit of a comeback there with a couple of chops to Cameron Cade. But Cade cut him off and stopped that right in the right in his tracks. Oh, that a sleeper, sleeper hold? Or the Weaver Lock, whatever you want. All righty. <laughs> Either one. And right at him down to one knee now as Cameron Cade wears him down. Move the sleeper hold, of course. And now Cade, if you can't hear him on our mics here, Cameron Cade going, Friday, he's going down. He's about to go night-night. 
Listen to the crowd. Crowd chanting Fry Daddy's name here, trying to give him what he needs to get back up and become victorious in this match. But Fry Daddy is fading. Brooklyn Page dropping the third time, and that's it. Fry Daddy has stopped his hand from hitting the canvas down. He's getting up. He's feeding off this crowd here, Ben. Oh, absolutely, as he always does. Backing Cade into the corner. Cade breaks the hold now. Fry Daddy back up. Let's see if he's got enough oxygen. Fry Daddy over onto the apron. Going for a shoulder block. Huge shoulder block right in the midsection of Cade. Swing Fry shot, Daddy over sunset here. flip. Sunset flip, flip right into the, uh, right into Kay there, but Kay with a drop kick on the Fry Daddy. Fry Daddy with a little bit of momentum there, but Kay knows where he's at in this ring and he hits that drop kick on Fry Daddy as he rolls through on that sunset flip. Kay can't believe it. Cameron. Well, you know, anybody that's just arrogant thinks that they should win just by walking into the ring. And Cade thinks that as soon as he walks out of the curtain, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't realize what type of an opportunity this is to take on a guy, the level of Fry Daddy here in the junior heavyweight division in NW Atlanta, the champion. That belly the arrogance here. Cade, Cade needs to, uh, needs to hurry it up here and try for a pinfall. Posing for the crowd there gets a two count. A near fall there. If he had hooked the leg, he might have had a three count on Fry Daddy here. Absolutely. Fry Daddy looks like a reverse chin lock. Mm. Referee Brooklyn Page checking to make sure it's not a choke hold. Right on top of it there once again. Cade now trying to wear Fry Daddy down as Fry Daddy was at the beginning of the matchup. Uh, Cameron Cade has come here with a strategy. He wants to take that NWA Georgia Junior Heavyweight Championship from Fry Daddy. And he's posing a test here tonight. That is true. Picking the bones off of what Jimmy Rave did a couple weeks ago here. Yeah. And Fry Daddy here is up to a vertical base, a back elbow right into the midsection of Cade. Cade is in tremendous shape here, as is Fry Daddy. And that's something that you can expect from the junior heavyweight division. Actually, all of our pro wrestlers here in NW Atlanta, you can certainly expect some of the best-looking wrestlers in, in the state of Georgia here. I agree. Friday with a high back body drop. Is this going to be it? He's still reeling. Friday is trying to get his cobweb shaken loose. See if he can take advantage of this. Close Huge line. clothesline there in the back elbow. Friday now stalking Cameron Cade in the near corner. Cade with a reversal down to one knee. Friday up over the top. Roll through. Going for a big splash. Stinger splash. That combo right to the Bulldog. Friday, he's feeling it. He's turning up. He's about to turn it up, Vince. Here we go. Friday, right, he went for the elbow. But Cameron Cade, smart enough to roll out of the ring here, standing on the apron, pointing to his head like he's a smart fella. But Friday, bringing him in the hard way. Cade well, lands right on his rear here in the ring. That totally Friday turned is around. now stalking him, setting him up here. Sky high by Fry Daddy. Fry Daddy now going for that elbow. He's the crowd into it. He's sending it up. He's turning up. Go. Turn up uh, elbow. Right to the chest here now. Fry Daddy going hooking the far leg. Two count there. Wow, two and three quarter Ten here. Down. Ten minutes down. Ten minutes remaining in the back. Wow, Cade now on the mat. Fry Daddy here trying to catch his breath. Opening up the shirt. We know what this means, folks. Cut line time. Fry Daddy. Fry is measuring Cameron Cade here as Cade gets to his feet. Smart move here, letting Cade cut him. Get a, use his energy up. Cade sends him into the top turnbuckle. Cade gut reach power bomb again. That's it. No. Oh my gosh. Brooklyn Page two count there. Cade thought he had him. I thought that was it. We almost had a new champion right there. Kate now insulting the Brooklyn Page, our referee, says she can't count to three. He may find that out here before too much longer that she can. Yeah. yeah. But now he's in control of the matchup as Fry Daddy struggles to get to his feet. Kate going in, Fry Daddy with a reversal, swinging neck breaker. Swinging neck breaker there from Fry Daddy. Kate's now prone in the middle of the ring. Fry Daddy hooking the far leg, Page down with a count. Two count there from Brooklyn Page, Fry Daddy here. 
Oh, Friday pointing to the corner here. Cade is prone in the middle of the ring here after that neck breaker. Cade rolling up. Buggy's up to knee here. Friday coming up to the top turnbuckle. Cade standing up, doesn't really know where he's at. Friday going for a double axe handle there. Cade with a bookend there sends Friday right to the canvas. Friday, that's a great power move from a guy that small. Yeah, it is. Friday took a chance and got caught. That's why they call it a high risk maneuver. Cade going for the cover. Definitely. Wow, two and three quarters once again. Friday nearly pinned there. Wow, Cade is going to have to get a little bit quicker with the pinfall attempts if he's going to take advantage of Fry Daddy looks like and Cade, win this matchup. Looks like Cade's going to have a temper tantrum for us all over with. He might very well. He already thinks Brooklyn Page can't count to three. <laughs> see here. He's going up to the corner there. Fry Daddy with a forearm. Another forearm to the side of the head. Cade's feet are off the ropes now. Uh-oh. Oh, Fry Daddy setting him up here on the second rope. Fry Daddy setting up Cade. Here we're going to see a suplex. K with some slaps to the midsection, sending Friday down. Friday all the way stumbling into the far corner there. K setting him up. Friday going up. What is he doing now? Friday he's going to hook that arm over the shoulder. We're going to see a superplex here. Superplex! Huge suplex there. Friday sends K down. Camera Cade's eyes are, cl- are glazed over. Oh, it man. might be over. Like what? a dozen Krispy Kremes. <laughs> he eyes are glazed. Let's see if Friday, he's got enough in him to take advantage of this. I think you could count to 10 at this point if you can make a cover on Cameron Cade. But Cade is out, but that superplex took a little bit out of Friday, too. Friday, he's going on pure adrenaline alone, I think. Trying to get a Krispy Kreme sponsorship. What can I say? <laughs> Friday here in the middle of the ring. Forearm. Cade with a forearm to the side of the head. Friday with a forearm right back at him. Another forearm from Cade. Fry Daddy with another one. Back and forth, spinning heel kick. And Cade's got Fry Daddy prone over the top rope. Fry Daddy following him in. Huge clothesline as Cade uses his momentum off of the top rope there. Fry Daddy going in. Cade with the same thing. Back and forth, back and forth. These two go. What a matchup. Fry Daddy now. Oh, huge forearm right back at him. They are trading moves here. Friday going in. Nope. Oh, yeah. Friday he knew it. He sent him over the top rope. Friday he's smart enough to send him over. Friday he over through the second rope. Suicide Friday. dive. Oh, my gosh. Huge dive right out the ringside here. On that concrete floor, Vince. Oh, my gosh. Huge dive there. The fans erupting. Friday Eddie and Kate out of our camera angle here. We may have a double side. Team. Friday, he's sending Cade uh-huh. back in. This is the only way he's going to win this match. Is to pin Cade in the middle of the ring. Friday, he hooking the far the book, both, both legs. Excuse me. Wow, just a two count there. The thing about Friday is he does not have to pin Cameron Cade. He they could have been out there for a ten count and he would have retained the title. But Friday, he wants to win with a pinfall. Fair and square, Friday. That's it. Cade sending him to the ropes. Friday able to hang on to shake him loose here. Cade back up for a clothesline. Friday with a clothesline. That's going to be it. Is this all? Friday hooks the far leg. He got it. Three count. Here is your winner. And still in WA, Georgia, Junior Heavyweight Champion, Friday. Friday victorious here as we go to intermission. Friday defeating Cameron K with the cut line here right in the middle of the ring. One, two, three. As Friday celebrates with the fans here. Happy New Year, folks. Friday victorious. NWA Junior, NWA Atlanta Junior Heavyweight Champion here. Friday going over the uh, the ringside barricade here out to celebrate with the fans as he is victorious over Cameron K here tonight. Wrestling fans, the next contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first. (laughs) 
We're bold and beautiful. Accompanied to the ring by his tag team partner, Michael Stevens from Star City, weighing 209 pounds. On tour, Zach Goodworth. Plain to see. And his opponent. From Tampa, Florida, weighing 229 pounds, Paul All right, Vance Keeney here. Welcome back from intermission. We have Colt Calloway taking on Encore Zach Edwards as I'm joined here now by Jason Boyd. And uh, we've already seen Michael Stevens victorious here tonight over Drew Adler. And uh, now we'll see if he's going to work on the ringside here with uh, Zach Edwards here matching up with Colt Calloway. I'd have to say we uh seen a rather upset earlier. But, you know what, really, what do you expect out of this bunch, really? I mean, you have you have the interference outside the ring, things going on out there, the distractions of the ref. It's typical beautiful ball besties, but in a singles match. This is uh, happening here. Brooklyn Page here. Oh, a little calisthenics there for Zach Edwards. Uh, it's probably a little late for that. But <laughs> let's see here. Colt Calloway the young- sporting a little bit of a... Almost a top knot sort of there for the hairdo. Getting a little bit out of his face here so he can concentrate on Zach Edwards. Obviously jealous of his hair is one Zach Edwards, Cole Calloway. <laughs> no, he's got Barbasol. Oh, uh, that's true. I guess he has to. He is shaving. Side headlock takedown there. A young upstart, Colt Calloway, has definitely got his hands full with Zach Edwards and marvelous Michael Stevens. We've tonight. seen great things out of Colt Calloway here in the time he's been in NWA Atlanta. All right, Zach Edwards now with a standing headlock here as Calloway push him into the ropes here, gets him off to break the hole. Huge shoulder block from Zach Edwards. Callaway down here now. Callaway sending Edwards in. Big hip toss now. Now we talked a little earlier about Zach Edwards and marvelous Michael Stevens, one year tag team champions. In the ring with the young upstart Cole Callaway with a hip toss there. Goes for a cover one. Only a one count. Trying to take advantage and make a quick pinfall attempt. There is Callaway. And Callaway coming up empty there on that one. But he's sending in. Wow. I tell you what, you're seeing some viciousness out of Callaway here that you don't normally see. Callaway setting him up, going for a bulldog there. As Edwards kind of falls out of the corner. Look at the far leg there, a two count there. Once again, Callaway trying to use his quickness to surprise Edwards. Michael Stevens has not had his hand in this matchup just yet. Oh, He's he kind will. Of surprise. <laughs> don't you worry about that. Oh, huge clothesline from Zach Edwards. Now Callaway's down. Looks like he might be spitting out some teeth here. Yes. Now, Christmas is over, but if Christmas was still here, all he'd want for Christmas is his two front teeth. (laughs) That's true. He might have to ask next year, I guess. 
Yep. Here in our Reverie first. Brooklyn Page checking in on Callaway here in the corner. Trying to get Edwards to uh, adhere to the rule book, which isn't easy, obviously. <laughs> you guys saw that matchup earlier. Edwards a distraction. Uh, helping, you have to say he helped his partner, his tag team partner, and uh, beautiful ball bestie, and his bestie, can become victorious in the matchup against Drew Adler. And Michael Stevens is uh, hands off there in the corner. Brooklyn Page keeping an eye on him as much as she can. As Callaway's now uh, throw it over the second rope. There was, a, there was a clean break by Zach Edwards at two. Uh, that won't last long. Here you go. Edwards out. Ah, uh, hit right to the side of the face of Colt Callaway. Callaway now holding his jaw. Edwards back in the ring. Viciousness right there on top of Callaway. Rake of the eyes now as Page is around back here. Now Page sees it. He's calling for a break there. Looks like he pulled his hands off. Oh, yeah, she's right on top of it there. Well, you said it. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be long, and here we go. The thing is, is these guys have enough ability to win the matchup without cheating. And here this, no, oh, of course, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Oh, well. All right. Michael Stevens here jawing at us a little bit. Says, no one looks as good as my bestie. <laughs> Referring to Zach Edwards here in the ring. But, uh, you know, i tell you what. He got on to you, Callaway's man. Callaway's there. Oh, huge knee sends Callaway here flipping into the center of the ring. And now Edwards, little arrogance personified there. Oh, pinfall attempt. Oh, no, not a pinfall. He's got a knee across the throat of Callaway. And you hear the whining of Marvelous Michael Stevens out here on the outside. That should have been a pinfall. Yeah, you're right there. You know, you don't get much whinier than Michael Stevens, that's for sure. <laughs> boot to the chest there. Oh, now boot to the chin. Michael Stevens asking our photographer to make sure he got a picture there. Callaway gets his uh, chin rocked by the boot of Zach Edwards in the corner there. Callaway with some shots. He's had enough of what's gone on in this matchup so far. Callaway into the corner going up and over, but Zach Edwards using his brains for once. What? And stepping out of the way, kicking Callaway right in the midsection there, and Callaway's in some bad shape. Edwards is now stripping off the uh, elbow pad there. Not sure what he's doing there. Oh, what? What was that? He threw his elbow pad out to ringside here as Michael Stevens puts it in his vest right here in front of our announce position. That's why. He's exposing that elbow to use it as a weapon. Yeah, well, at least we know the elbow pad wasn't loaded. He would have kept it. <laughs> Callaway going up over with the sunset flip. Brooklyn Page, Jigger, the two count. Edwards going up. Flapjack. Oh, wow. Callaway with a single leg. Floats into that single leg crab there. Michael Stevens trying to distract the referee here. Zach Edwards' a submission hold here by Colt Callaway. Callaway dragging Edwards right to the middle of the ring. Zach yeah. Edwards dressed like pebbles from the Flintstone today. <laughs> no, you're right about that. I didn't look at it that way, but I see it now. Callaway now. Oh, boot right to the knee as Callaway comes in. Still on the offensive here as Edwards takes a shortcut. And holding that knee... And Zach Edwards. Zach is going to take the quickness away from Callaway that he has at one advantage. That's obvious as this matchup has continued here. And Zach Edwards there in the corner sending, I can't tell if Callaway's throat's across the turnbuckle or not there. Edwards now with a boot right to the chin there as well. Referee Brooklyn Page is going to be tired of counting after this match. Zach Edwards now has our photographer's camera. I mean, sorry, Michael Stevens at ringside now has our photographer's camera taking pictures, trying to show him what he's doing. <laughs> our photographer certainly knows what the heck's going on here. Michael Stevens again taking pictures. This is ridiculous. I tell you, you know, I mean, I guess his, uh, his tag team partner's in control of this matchup right now. He's got all the time in the world to just do what he wants here at ringside. Tommy, our photographer, is just going to have a sandwich, maybe. Yeah. Let Michael Stevens, of course, Michael Stevens always thinks he can do everything better than everybody. So that's nothing new. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, we, we 
been, been discussing that already. Michael Stevens comes over and says, tell the fans that we're even a better photographer. But they're going to focus on wrestling and cheating in matches, I guess. Edwards with a missed clothesline there. Colt Calloway with a forearm right to the forehead. That massive forehead of Zach Edwards taking a couple <laughs> forearms there. Edwards going for a, oh. Edwards missing the clothesline there and Calloway off the second rope with a back elbow. Calloway setting him up for a swinging neck breaker there. He's going for the cover. Near oh, fall. Oh man, near fall there. Brooklyn pays with a two count. As Edwards able to kick out after that swinging neck breaker from Calloway. Edwards trying for a shot there to Callaway here. Edwards slides out of the ring and hooks Callaway's legs, and Callaway face first to the canvas. He's still trying to attack. Zach Edwards up over the top with a sunset flip. Callaway rolls through. Edwards boot to the chest there of Zach Edwards from Callaway. Let's see if this is all. No. Oh, man. That was a very, very close there. Colt Callaway Edwards is is has got some uh, got a knee injury there to his left knee. Callaway should be able to see that and maybe take some advantage there. Callaway sending Edwards into the far corner here going in. Edwards lifts up both knees right to the chest of Callaway. Edwards now going up. Is he going up to the second? Oh, Vader bomb misses as Callaway has the knees up. Callaway going in. Famous. Parker, this could be all. Callaway can take the pin. Wow, I can't believe that wasn't it. I thought that was a three count there, definitely. After hitting that famous sir, rocker dropper, and Callaway is measuring him. Mm-hmm. Callaway, smart move here, letting Edwards use his own uh, energy to get up to the top, to his feet here. Edwards slips away here oh, since Callaway oh. into the referee. Thumb to the eye now. The referee still st- still standing. Callaway trying there. Face buster there from Zach Edwards. Is that going to be all here? Referee broken page down. That's it. That is a three count there. Here was your winner. On car. Zach Edwards. We. The next contest is for the NWA Atlanta Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. Yeah. 
You see, some people call him the best in the world. Some people call him the revelation. I call him the magnet. Because whenever he gets around anything metal, it sticks right to his waist. Now there's going to be something real frilly and flashy that walks down here. But the only sparkle I'm worried about is that title. And guess who's going to leave here with it tonight? He is the one who hails from the fighting city of Philadelphia. He is the revelation, Shane Marks. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 30-minute time limit. And it's for the NWA Atlanta Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first to the corner to my right, accompanied to the ring by DeWitt Dawson. He weighs 245 pounds. From Philadelphia, PA, and tonight he is the challenger, Shane Marks! And his opponent, to the corner to my left, he is the NWA Atlanta heavyweight champion from Midtown in Atlanta, Georgia. He weighs in at none of your business, Simon! Sherman! Official in charge of this matchup, referee Tristan Michaels. What a tremendous matchup here. Vance Keeney here. We're going to be joined by Jason Boyd momentarily as the new NWA Atlanta heavyweight champion, Simon Sermon, defeating Tyson Dean for Andy Anderson's title here a few weeks ago in Locust Grove. As uh, Andy Anderson was able was unable to compete, Simon Sermon victorious over Tyson Dean to win Andy Anderson's title. Referee Tristan Michaels is uh, in charge of this matchup. As the revelation Shane Marks is the uh, first challenger for one Simon Sermon. I tell you what, I know you were talking to the guys backstage. Both of these men have had a slew of gold around their waist at different times here in the state of Georgia. Yes, they have uh, Shane Marks, a three-time 
uh, Platinum Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. And what can you say about Simon Sermon? What has he not done? For what for once he's a th- he's a three time NWA Georgia Tag Team Champion yes. right here at NWA Atlanta. He's yep, done it all. Shane Marks is headed uh, headed to the entrance ramp as Simon Sermon tickled Shane Marks. A uh, little bit of uh, shenanigans here, typical of a Simon Sermon matchup. Okay. Not sure what Simon did there with Tristan Michaels falling to the apron. Tristan needs to be careful out there. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Simon Sermon sporting the uh, red lipstick here this evening with the uh, common face paint that we always see him with. Always has some unique outfits, and he came to the ring with some silver wings tonight. He was flying. Yes, he was <laughs> flying, absolutely. He can fly. Shane Marks, no slouch himself in this ring here. This is going to be a, a true test for Simon Sermon here. Shane Marks has been in the ring with guys like Davey Richards. Um, he's been in the ring with Jay Lethal, amongst yep. others. Absolutely here. And uh, Simon Sermon, really been looking forward to this matchup here, just like we had Cameron Cade and Fry Daddy earlier. This is going to be a great matchup for the fans here. Three. As we start off 2015 with a bang. <laughs> you hear DeWitt Dawson yelling out here. Absolutely. They do not like what's happening here. How about three title matches to kick off the new year, man? I tell you what, this is, uh, yeah, this is right off the bat here. We're uh, showing you what it's like here at NW Atlanta, the best wrestling in the state of Georgia. Absolutely. DeWitt Dawson here with some uh, demands from referee Tristan Michaels. Uh, He's trying to get get Simon Sermon back. Tristan Michaels sending Simon back to the neutral corner as Shane Marks climbs up on the apron here now. We're going to get him into the ring to restart the matchup. This looks like it's going to be hard to control. I don't know. I think Simon just just loves to play those mind games. As you always know, Simon Sermon's going to use every bit of his ability here in the wrestling ring and every bit of his mind games to try and uh, try and do what he wants to do. Oh, he's good at it. He is a seasoned veteran. Absolutely here. Shane Marks with a go-behind waist lock here, and Simon Sermon wiggling his rear end there, sends Shane Marks. It's an interesting way to break a hole, that's for sure. <laughs> Simon there uh, dipping out after DeWitt Dawson. Uh, Marks with a arm bar here on the left hand wrist lock now. Simon rolling through to take the pressure off with a single leg takedown. Look at that. Wow, look at that leg bar there. He's got his left foot on the ankle of Shane Marks here, and he's uh, hyperextending that left knee. There you go. Marks here to the ropes, reaches the ropes, forcing, forcing Simon Sermon to break the hold, and Simon. Handsy as usual, I guess. Tell you what. <laughs> Mind games on Shane Marks. And Shane Marks better be aware of that Manhattan driver as well, that devastating finishing maneuver of Simon Sermon. Yeah, we saw him hit that on Tyson Dean for the one, two, three here a few weeks ago in Locust Grove to become the NW Atlanta heavyweight champion. Even though Dean is not the title holder, Andy Anderson claimed an injury, and so he was uh, supposed to take on Simon Sermon. And Andy Anderson lost his title without actually being in the ring. Well, to Simon Sermon, and Simon Sermon beat Tyson Dean. Tyson Dean, as a substitute for Andy Anderson, lost the matchup. Shane Marks with a knee lift right to the midsection there and a huge forearm right to the back of the shoulders of Simon Sermon. Tell you one thing, Commissioner Rick Michaels has sure shook things up here in NWA Atlanta. You definitely know that. He means business here. Nothing like having a former uh, former champion here, NWA tag team champion here. Sermon with a huge splash. If Sermon can take advantage of this here, we might see him win, retain the title here tonight. He's doing a little dance. And Simon doing a little uh, dance there. Huge forearm to the face of Shane Marks. Sermon down here with a two count. 
Very quick two count there from Tristan Michaels. Uh, starting with a huge back elbow now. Go over a quick pinfall again, a two count. It's going to take a little more than that to keep Shane Marks down, that's for sure. Yeah, definitely. Shane Marks, well accomplished in this ring as we talked about earlier. And he's going to, what, what are we going to see here? Into the ropes, Irish slip. Sermon into the ropes with DeWitt Dawson paying dividends there as Simon Sermon gets tripped up. Oh, knee to the back there. Right to the kidneys from Shane Marks. And Sermon is out of the ring here now. Simon Sermon is definitely hurt. DeWitt Dawson with a shot to Simon Sermon. I've never seen him get involved in a matchup around here, but he's doing that right now. Rake of the eyes of Simon Sermon, and Dawson's down here at ringside now. Sermon trying to recover there as Tristan Michaels tries to get him into the ring with a count. Dawson now. Sermon now stalking to it. Dawson here at ringside. Shane Marks is right behind him here. Watch out. Oh. Marks with a shot right to the shoulders of Simon Sermon as Sermon focuses attention on DeWitt Dawson. Right here at ringside now. Marks with another shot to the shoulder blades. DeWitt Dawson may be the deciding factor and a new NWA Atlanta heavyweight champion here tonight. Well, there's a reason that Shane Marks pays him to be his manager and be here at ringside. And we are seeing that tonight. Let's see if he will pay some dividends here. Did you hear that shot? A huge kick right to the face of Simon Sermon. Wow. And Shane Marks back to the attack. Marks going with a scoop slam. Wow, release scoop slam from Shane Marks. A powerful man here just scooped up Simon Sermon and threw him right down to the mat. Sermon, you can hear him groaning here to the crowd. Oh, now he's kicking here. It's Shane Marks with a boot right to the throat, using the ropes for leverage. Oh, Marks again now, both hands on the ropes here. All of his weight down on Simon Sermon's throat. Tell it, referee Tristan Michaels he has till five, and he's absolutely right. He has till five. Now DeWitt Dawson's there in the corner. Uh, what he was doing there, it looks like he was choking Simon Sermon as well. And this, Sermon, you can tell he's having trouble breathing right now. This is getting a little ridiculous. Marks with a hook in the far leg. All right, DeWitt Dawson now says he has the tag rope. I tell you what now. <laughs> Oh, wow. Marks with a knee to the mid, uh, the middle of the back there of Simon Sermon. And goes right back to it. Working over the spinal area of Simon Sermon. It's a great move there for Marks as Marks hit that huge power slam on Sermon. Now he's working over the back to knows that that back is injured now. He's just going to take his time and work over Simon Sermon's back to try and take this NW Atlanta title for him. There's a huge welt on Sermon's back as well. Absolutely. You can see that already in these uh, the spotlights here. It's really easy to see that welt coming up. Uh, two count there. Simon Sermon thrown off. As Mark's sh- taking a moment here to rest, taking his time to get up and get on the attack here, but letting Sermon... Use his own energy once again to get up to his feet. Sermon with a left. The southpaw there with a couple of shots. Head of steam from Sermon. Shane Mark cuts him off well, that, with a clothesline as he comes off the ropes. Vince, I uh, talked to Shane Marks earlier, and he says he is taking the NWA Atlanta Heavyweight Championship right here tonight. And yeah, I tell you, he's got all the ability in the world to do it, that's for sure. He sure does. DeWitt Dawson complaining about Tristan Michaels' count. I think Simon Sermon should be complaining about DeWitt Dawson. Shoulder block in the corner. Simon Sermon, Irish Swift. Oh. And Marks with the head of steam go over. Oh, my gosh. Huge back elbow there right into the face of Simon Sermon. And Sermon is down on the on the canvas right now. Shane Mark said, best in the world. Wow. Fans, a smattering of applause, but mostly met with indifference to this crowd. Chef, you'll find them everywhere. Mm. 
Sermon still has not gotten up. Now he's uh, got up there. Marks has him by the chin. Marks sending him outside the ring here. And Sermon now on this hard concrete floor. Right in front of him. D-Way Dawson now got the foot across the throat. Somebody do something. Simon Sermon here at ringside. Somebody do something about DeWitt Dawson. Good. Simon Sermon now trying to get back into the ring. Dawson going. He says he's got the tag rope. I don't know what that means. (laughs) Maybe he thinks this is a... uh, a mixed tag match or a handicap match or something. I'm not really sure. Oh, my gosh. Mark's dropping Simon Sermon's throat right across the top rope here. It's just beside himself, grinning ear to ear now in the in the middle of the ring. He is now outside the ring stalking Simon Sermon. Oh, huge blow right there in front of the fans. These fans right in the action. They can see. And they see the pain on Simon Sermon's face. And up against that. Oh. Well, nope. Looks like Marks is going to drop his neck right over the top of that barricade out there. But Marks knows if he's going to win this matchup, it's got to be in the ring with a pinfall or submission. He is not going to win it outside the ropes. Near, near Huge near fall there. Trevor Michaels checking on Simon Sermon here. As Shane Mark says, that's it. But he's wasting time here. Uh, he's not. He's got to stay on the attack if he's going to upset Simon Sermon here tonight. I don't necessarily know so much that that's an upset, but he's going to defeat the champion here on his first title defense here after a huge suplex. Marks is setting him up. What is he doing here now? He's going into the corner, measuring Simon Sermon here. Huge knee drop right across the chest of Simon Sermon. Is this going to be all? Tristan Michaels is down. Oh, two count as Sermon barely gets his left shoulder up. And a two count. He's letting DeWitt Dawson know it was a two count as well. well Dawson's got his hat off now. You tell he means business when he takes his hat off in a situation <laughs> like this. The ever dapper one, DeWitt Dawson here at ringside. He, he's got his... uh. Blazer on with his jeans. Got a blazer on with his jeans. He's probably got a set of six hundred dollars sneakers on too. Yeah, that's true. That hat probably costs about five hundred dollars here. Oh my gosh! Simon Sermon in the corner here, going for the corner. Mark doesn't know where he's at. Sermon, double axe handle there. Sermon's got some momentum here now. Mark's is pulling himself up. Sermon with a left hand close on the south ball, going to work on nine. Shane Marks here now. Sermon catching his second win here now, going for a pinfall. Oh, doesn't have enough strength to hook that far leg here, and he might have cost him a three count. Irish whip, reverse. Uh, reversal for Marks. Marks setting up. Spine buster. Huge spine buster for Marks. Is that going to be all? That is so close. Two and three quarter, as close as he's gotten. Tristan Michaels holding his fingers just inches apart. That's how close Simon Sermon was to almost losing the title. Man. What a great matchup we're seeing. Been a great night. What a huge matchup this is. And we still have the main event, Johnny Swinger versus Tyson Dean. (laughs) This match right here can main event any card in the state of Georgia right now as it is on paper. What a great matchup here this is. DeWitt Dawson's got his back to the ring now. Hooks the leg of Stane Marks. He must have thought that was Simon Sermon. Now these two are arguing here now. What is DeWitt Dawson doing up on the apron? Sermon's Sermon's up now. Oh, hug. Noggin knocker there. Shane's DeWitt Dawson there. Marks is down. Hooked the leg of roller. We got it. That's it. Shane Marks with a roll up. There's Marks and Dawson. Hug it out. Still inside. NWA Atlanta. Heavyweight. Shane Marks doesn't know what happened. He and DeWitt Dawson were making up here at ringside as DeWitt Dawson tried to interfere in the match. He had his back turned, hooked Shane Marks' leg thinking it was Simon Sermon, and they got into a brief argument. And as that happened, Simon Sermon came in with a roll-up and got the one, two, three on Shane Marks, and Marks is beside himself.
The following contest is for the NWA Georgia Heavyweight Championship. Don't say it. Just swing it. This is too, too pimpish. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is now! The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 30 minute time limit and is for the NWA Georgia Heavyweight Championship! Introducing first the challenger to my right. From New York City, he weighs 215 pounds, Johnny Swigger! And his opponent, from Catskill, New York, he weighs 225 pounds. He is the Peach State Heritage Heavyweight Champion, and tonight... The reigning, defending, NWA Georgia, heavyweight champion, Dream Tyson T. <laughs> Official in charge of this matchup, referee Brooklyn Page. Man Skeeny here as Jason Boyd finishes up the ring introductions. This is for the NWA Georgia Heavyweight Championship. Johnny Swinger versus Tyson Dean. These guys have wrestled each other all over the state of Georgia here in the last six months or so. And Johnny Swinger here is now going to challenge Tyson Dean for the NWA Georgia title. As I'm joined here on commentary with Jason Boyd momentarily. Swinger is a veteran of NWA. WCW, WWF, spent a little time in TNA as well, 
And uh, collar and elbow tie up there. Swinger and Tyson look like they're going to take a trip around the ring here. Tyson Dean back swinger into the corner. Swinger reverses it. Sending Dean in there. Speaking of uh, TNA, Johnny Swinger is a former TNA tag team champion with uh, Simon Diamond, of all people. All right, nice. And uh, you, as you said, he's he's been pretty much everywhere. And Tyson Dean, he's no slouch. At all. Former NWA action heavyweight champion. Uh, former NWA Atlanta heavyweight champion two times. A- AWN tag team champion. POW heavyweight champion. The current PWA, or uh, the current Peach State Wrestling Alliance heritage champion. And of course, for about 400 days now, he's been the NWA Georgia heavyweight champion. Absolutely. Here, a swinger settles in on a wrist lock now. The veteran Johnny Swinger taking on Dean here now. Swinger just a little bit shorter than Tyson Dean, but equal here in uh, body weight as well. Yep. Dean in the ropes to break the hold here. A smart move. These two have been at each other all over the state of Georgia. Absolutely, yes. Um, Swinger I, and Dean. Swinger is always the calm guy here in the ring. Tyson Dean, forever the hothead <laughs> of the two. But as uh, as cool as one person gets in the ring here is one Johnny Swinger. You generally don't see him get flustered by anything. He's been through it all. He's had every move put on him that you could find. Dean now settling in with a full Nelson. Swinger trying to reach up and to break uh, Dean's fingers apart here to break up that hole. Now Swinger trying to get in. Let's see Swinger. He's going to try and muscle out of this now, pulling down on the arms, on the shoulders. Uh, oh, here we go. Test the strength here. Oh, Dean breaks the breaks the finger lock there. And now Dean's pulling the hair, settles back in, getting those fingers interlaced. Speaking of this rivalry, um, it was just a few weeks ago, I believe, where – Tyson Dean defeated Johnny Swinger for that Peach State Heritage Heavyweight Swinger now Championship. breaking it there with an L back elbow there. You're right. They, uh, they did uh, did have a couple matches at Peach State, if I'm not mistaken. I think the last one was in a cage. So these two guys, uh, bad blood still boiling over here, even though it's just after the holidays. <laughs> well, holidays or not, these two are at each other's throat right now. Yep. Tyson Dean... Mm-hmm. Ready to go. Backing him down into the corner here. You're not going to get a clean break from him. Oh, absolutely not there. Dean with a knee lift right to the midsection of Johnny Swinger. Dean measuring up, going in for an Irish whip into the corner. Dean with a re- reversal. Swinger goes in with a knee. His knee hit the top turnbuckle there hard, and now Dean is going to take advantage of it. Tyson here Dean. we go. The pace of this matchup is picking up now. Tyson Dean like a pit bull after that knee. Absolutely. Here, Dean going there right into the back of the knee there. That hyper jammed knee now. Dean doing everything he can to work over that knee. Now he's got a leg lock on it there, punching the side of the knee. Swinger there trying to rake the eyes, trying to do everything he can to get out of this hold. But I don't know even if he's out of this hold, if he can even stand up at this point. Tyson Dean's vicious tonight. Very vicious. Yeah, well, he saw that opening, that swinger miss in the corner here, and swinger jamming his knee into that into that top turnbuckle, and Dean just got right on it here. He sensed his opening, and he's taking it now, and he's taking he's taking Johnny Swinger's knee, and just doing everything he can to keep Swinger off his feet. Now, Swinger doing what he can to get keep Dean from getting on the offensive here, but Dean like a rabid dog here, going after that knee. Rich. Oh, Dean extending that knee over the second rope and left-handed punch right to the inside of the knee there. And Swinger is in a bad way right now. Yeah, he definitely is. Tyson Dean on the attack in the early going of this contest. This match, 30-minute time limit for the heavyweight championship of Georgia. Yep. Dean there, you know. Johnny Swinger, I don't know what his injury history is or anything like that, but you don't wrestle for nearly 20 years in the professional wrestling ranks and not have some type of an injury at some point to your knees. You're a blessed person if you don't ever find yourself out at some point for some type of a leg injury at all. 
you're a blessed person if you can make it through five years of professional wrestling without any bad Very injuries. True. Very true. And this man has been around. I mean, Dean there. Dean there. Well, this might be a mistake here leaving that leg open. Swinger there trying to push right to the side of the head. Swinger kicks his foot right in the side of Dean's face. And Dean right back on the attack there to that left leg. Tyson Dean. There's, there's a reason why he's been the Georgia heavyweight champion for about 400 days because he is a tremendous athlete. He likes to take shortcuts, but wow. he really doesn't need to. No, he doesn't. Swinger pushes him off with that good right leg and Dean into the, into the barricade here at ringside, but right back on the attack with an elbow to that left leg. Ferociously just nailing that left knee. Cover. Ever catching the ire of the fans is one Tyson Dean as well. And he posed a little bit listening to the uh, the boos and the cat calls from the fans here. The swinger kicks out after one consecutively here. Well, what do you expect? I mean, and Tyson Dean, oh, swinger going to battle back here, but Tyson goes right back to that knee. Oh, geez, I'll tell you what. Swinger's going to have to come up, come up with some magic here if he's going to. If he's going to overcome this knee injury here, but we've seen we've seen him time and time again here in NW Atlanta come back and win matchups there. Big, huge forearm right across the jaw, Tyson Dean, the former Gold Glove boxer. Oh, small package here. Let's see if this is it. That's it. Oh, oh. small package for a two count there. Swinger trying to get back up. Dean cuts him off with a shoulder block he to that left him. leg. Wow, Johnny Swinger, and the silence of this crowd. You, it, it's silent in here. After that, Dean with a foot on the ankle and just a stomp right to the left leg. Johnny Swinger. Tyson is always taking his time, taking a little rest there. He better not do that long. Playing to the fans once again. A leg over the bottom rope here. Tyson Dean. Driving his rear end right into the upper quad and that knee area there. Once you have that knee injury, your quad and everything gets tightened up as do your hamstrings and your lower back. Tyson Dean doing work on that leg of Johnny Swinger. Swinger taking a beating from Tyson Dean. Once again, Dean once again, Swinger oh, with a boot what? to the, to boot to the <laughs> rear of Tyson Dean. And Dean over the top rope. This might give Swinger a few minutes. This might get Swinger a few minutes to catch his breath here and maybe come up with something to come back on Tyson Dean here. Dean's lower back hit off the apron here, that corner of the ring as he fell out. Swinger now picking him up here. Looks like he might go for a backslide possibly. Yep. Yeah, Swinger the stronger. Oh, yeah, strong, the strength personified here. Swinger gets him over there, and Dean down for a two count rolls through. Huge clothesline from Dean as Swinger gets up to a vertical base. Tyson Dean taking his time here. I wouldn't do that with Johnny Swinger. I just would not. This you cannot take a veteran like that lightly, that's for sure. Uh, no, you cannot. Especially a guy that's been everywhere, it's done it all. Is Dean going? Oh, my God. Dean's going for a figure four. In the middle of the ring. Nowhere for Swinger to go here. Swinger's down here. Brooklyn Page going in for a, going for a pinfall attempt. Dean smacking the mat here as he tries for some more leverage. Swinger spinning his legs here, trying to reverse that here. The fans getting into it now. Dean now able to, uh, sorry, Swinger there breaking the hold as Dean comes up. Swinger with some shots to the face here of Dean. Another forearm right to the side of the face follows it up. Swinger's got a second win here now, but still favoring that left leg. Swinger scooping him up here. He can't get him up now. He couldn't get him that up. That power base of those those legs of, of um, oh. oh, wow, Johnny Swinger going through. Roll up here. Let's see if this is it. Oh, two count as Dean kicks out. Swinger going in with a sleeper hold now. He's got a cinched in Dean back into the ropes here. That should break it. Tyson Dean. Page no counted down. Know where he is in that ring. Wait a minute. Anderson's down, down now. A shot there. Oh, come on. That's it. 
Andy Anderson out here now is attacking Johnny Swinger. Referee Brooklyn Page has called for the bell as the interference has come down. Andy Anderson putting the boots to, putting the boots to Johnny Swinger here and Dean now with a shot of his own here. Tradition taking care of Johnny Swinger right now. Oh, Simon Service out. out. Simon Service out and clear the ring. Andy Anderson and Dean heading to the back now. Simon Sermon is out. Johnny Swinger here. Johnny Swinger taking a couple of shots there to the head. Simon Sermon here comes out with some type of a lead pipe. As Oh, Rick Michaels is out too. Why y'all out here? Why ain't y'all in there now? Well, guess what, boys? On the 24th, you won't have a choice because you two are going to face Simon Sermon and Johnny Swinger on the 24th. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I'm bringing back Radar. See you on the 24th. What? Rick Michaels comes out and he announces here a tag match. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match. As a result of a disqualification, Johnny Swinger! Johnny Swinger victorious here tonight as a result of a disqualification. Andy Anderson coming in, hitting Simon, Sir, uh, sorry, excuse me, hitting Johnny Swinger as he gets that sleeper hold in effect here in the corner. Tyson Dean retains the NWA Georgia title here tonight as the matchup ends in the DQ. But January 24th here in Locust Grove, Georgia, Johnny Swinger and Simon Sermon are going to get their revenge as they take on tradition. Andy Anderson and Tyson Dean in a tag match. We can't wait for that, folks. We hope you're here in Locust Grove with us. We thank you guys for watching.